What's up beautiful people? Today we're going to be checking out Asari Dokubo's comment on fuel subsidy. Let's get to it. So for me, this is one of the biggest steps. Like I said, I've always said, me, I don't, I'm not apologetic. Mm -hmm. I said, if Ahmed Wola Tinibu fails, hold me responsible. Because I have known him since 1992 and I know what he stands for. Okay, so he said, if Bola Ahmed Tinubu fails to make Nigeria better or fail to reduce fuel prices, I mean, fail at what? That's what I want to understand. He said we should hold him responsible. So we're going to, and we need to know what he's actually saying. So let's take it back. Careful, guys. I don't, I'm not apologetic. Mm -hmm. I said, if Ahmed Wola Tinubu fails, hold me responsible. All right, we will. Because I have known him since 1992 mm -hmm. and i know what he stands for and i can stand in the gap between him and the people and say this thing this is a step that my brother good Lord failed to take even when he had uh, the opportunity this is a step that after talking no uh, subsidy general muhammad buari was not able to take ahmed bola took it from the first day he said he was gonna hit the ground running now you take about 8 trillion naira every year. This is wickedness. And you give, you use it to service the glutonous appetite of a few people. <laughs> I like they, the expression on his face. They, 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 they shout because they have the cameras like I have today. So they set the agenda for the people why the people are suffering. I believe that the eight trillion, about ten billion dollars, will will change the fortunes of education, will change the fortunes of health, will change the fortunes of agriculture and road transport. So that's the point there. I don't think people are concerned about. I mean, people are concerned about the subsidy and the high price of fuel. People are concerned about that. But what people are more concerned about is if this money is being kept aside, what is it going to be used for? Or are they just going to steal it like a lot of the government officials have been doing over the years? That's what I think people are concerned about. What I am opposed to is for NLC, Nupeng and others to go and to say... These people do not constitute even 1% of the population of this country. Mm -hmm. That palliatives should be given to them. If palliatives are given to NLC, to Nupeng, to Pengasin, to Asu, to Asu, what of the ordinary people who are not employed, who are not represented, who are toiling day and night? Why should there be a, a, a discrimination? This country belongs to all of us. It's not because you are, you, you are even eating from the country as a member of an LC as a he speaks very passionately a member of a <laughs> talk as a member of all this organization and then you are demanding that he should be given privileges that are not given to me and not given to the ordinary people it is wrong it's not given to me too money should not be diverted from right. these funds mm -hmm. like conduit pipe we have had ptf we have had all that this thing these monies did not actually get to the people. Mm -hmm. We are hearing that the humanitarian minister, the former woman, said she spent 500 billion every month in trying to lift people out of poverty. This uh, 500 billion every month trying to lift people out of poverty. So that would be six. I'm making a calculation, right? Six trillion in a year. And more people are even in poverty now. I was hearing 70% of Nigerians are in poverty. 70%. And you're spending all that money. <laughs> I think if you even share the money to Nigerians, it'll be better. Let them lift themselves out of poverty. Give them the money. Don't try to do it. Just share it to all Nigerians. Put it in our bank accounts. It's a content pipe. They do not portend wealth for the people. What we are demanding is this. This money should be directed to the people, directly to the people, to education, to health, mm -hmm. to agriculture, 
to fixing our road and our railway so that and to paying our loans to China so that we don't wake up one day for China to come to come and fight for us. <laughs> Everybody so We don't wake up one money for that. China to come and fight for us. The money should be channeled in paying up our debt. Nigeria should be a, a, a country that is proud that we are debt free. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, debt is not a bad thing, depending on how you see it. You know, America is in like eighteen trillion dollars in debt, so debt is not always a bad thing. But I get what he meant. You know, I get what he was trying to say there. Um, Asari Dokubo. I don't know him per se, but I know of him since I was a child, probably like nine, ten years old. I used to hear his name in conversations. And what I can or what I took of those conversations was that he is a man of authority and a man that will go the extra mile to make sure everything he says stands. Now, whether you like him or not, that's a good feature to have as a man. I'm not here trying to praise him or trying to say um, I'm a fan of Asari Dokubo. I, I really don't know him. This is probably like the first clip of me seeing him. But what I'm going to say is he's made very valid points in that video. He said some things that are vital. My only concern is if full subsidy is taken out and I'm hearing 40%, Nigerians will have to pay 40% more in electricity tariff. So if we're paying all this or we're giving up all this money, what? are they using it for where is it going to be channeled at we need to ask these questions you know let's not keep this eight trillion dollars at the end of the day we don't see it the last government we had they were fighting corruption and how many billion dollars was recovered from fighting corruption all that money where did it go we didn't see it we didn't see it do we have better infrastructure do we have um, electricity more did we build parks what did we do? Was the education system better? Um, was the healthcare better? We, we should be asking all these questions. And yeah, he made very valid points, but also there is more to it. Like there's the next level. The money that you're taking from the subsidy, what is it going to do? Yeah, I know somebody who's paying 1.2 million naira in his business <laughs> yeah, for electricity. And now if you raise it by 40%, which I don't think he's going to care paying for it long as he's getting something in return you know it's like paying taxes and they are not building the roads why are you paying the taxes so yeah i appreciate his video i appreciate i think that was from let me see the name that was from tvc news nigeria and um, i'll put the link to the channel in the description in case you want to go check um check out some more news some more Nigerian news. It's the end of this video. Um, talk to me, share your thoughts on that one. If you want to see more Nigerian videos, let me know and I'll do my best to bring it. I always want to bring more of this, but the thing is I watch it personally by myself all the time anyway, so I don't usually feel the need to bring it to the channel, which is kind of weird. I should bring it more. It's the end of this video. Smash the like button, subscribe, and I promise you I'll bring you more Nigerian news. Have a wonderful day. Peace.